we're about week seven and eight. You kind of know what everybody is. Remember Cincinnati early had some issues. I said these are totally solvable issues. Uh, Arizona, I think, some of those issues are solvable. But there are issues that aren't, so let's do it. This week's Blazing Five. That's a hot one. Let's blaze it up. Fire it up. It's Collins Blazing Five. Cardinals and Vikings. I like the Vikings. Not this week, though. I'll take Arizona plus three and a half. Listen, they have issues offensively, but they don't give the ball away. Only the Eagles have fewer giveaways. Kyler Murray is now running more, and DeAndre Hopkins is back. And the Cardinals have been a bizarrely good road team since 2021. Don't ask me, but DeAndre Hopkins' insertion back into the offense and Murray's legs now, he's willing to run, make a difference. The Vikings are good, but they've been outgained by 270 yards. All their games are close, and they give up six yards a play. This is an explosive Arizona team. They go to Minnesota. They upset the Vikings 28 to 27. Raiders at Saints. I like the Saints here, plus one and a half. They're coming off extra rest. I always love that. And the Raiders, let's be honest, their wins have been against the Broncos that are awful and the Texans, and they needed a fourth quarter comeback to beat the Texans. The Raiders' defense is atrocious. They have the worst passer rating defense in the league. Opposing quarterbacks average a 105 passer rating. And those games they won last year, all the close ones, they're 0-4 in close games and 0-3 on the road. The Raiders, I like their offensive talent. There's some smoke and mirrors here. Very close game. I'll take the points and the Saints to win 24-23. Dolphins and Lions. Love the Lions plus three and a half. Love, love, love Detroit. Listen, at home, they're a different team. Jared Goff at home this year. Look at their offense. In his 11 home starts, he has a 102 passer rating. At home, they get 38 points, 7 yards of play, and they're getting healthy. They're getting DeAndre Swift has practiced Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, TJ Hawkins and their excellent young tight end is going to play. So they get their weapons back. And the Dolphins... They're one of four teams in the league with a winning record and a negative point differential. There is a ceiling once they get off scripted plays, what they can do, and they are beat up, as J-Mac told you, a little beat up in some of their units defensively. I like Detroit to win this game in an upset 30-27. Patriots and Jets. I'm going to take the favored Patriots minus two and a half. They're coming off a humiliating loss. My rule... When great players are humiliated or great hope coaches are humiliated, they come back the next week. Listen, Belichick has feasted off average quarterbacks, especially average young quarterbacks, and that's what Zach Wilson is. Zach has less than 200 passing yards in back-to-back -back games. They're missing Brees Hall, Corey Davis, Elijah Vera Tucker. This is a bad spot for a quarterback that needs protection and a running game. He loses his best protector and running back. New England wins this game 27 to 20 and covers the spread. Bengals at Browns. I'm going to take the underdog Brownies at home on Monday night, uh, Monday night. Browns plus three and a half. Listen, for some reason, Cleveland's given Cincinnati issues. Kevin Stefanski's 4-0 against the Bengals. All right. And the five games have been decided by three or fewer points for the Browns this year. They're five games. So they get into some close games. Their offense this season, you think it's terrible, but they're running the heck out of the football in Cleveland. That's not a surprise. Nick Chubb leads the NFL in rushing yards and rushing TDs with eight. And the Bengals, listen, Jamar Chase is out. That's a big deal. Monday night in Cleveland. Browns don't get a lot of Monday night football games at home. This is going to be like Mardi Gras. And, and, and Joe Burrow is still getting sacked a lot with Miles Garrett. I get great corners for Cleveland. Miles Garrett without Jamar Chase. I think it goes down to the last minute. I'll give Cincinnati a win. It goes either way, 28-27. But I'm absolutely, strongly believe in Cleveland and the points. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.